alright, found this very interesting. Watching porn actually rewires the brain to a more juvenile state, neuroscientists warned. This is an article by the Daily Mail, posted on November 28th, 2019, so fairly recent. And just more proof that pornography is really, really bad for your health. And, and not only that, pornography actually can lead to serial killers too. I might do a video on that in the future, but uh, a bit off topic on this video, but how pornography can create serial killers is your brain has dopamine receptors. So when you pump that sex drive, when you, when you basically indulge in, in sexual, you know, when you, when you, when you uh, pump the sex drive, your brain creates less dopamine receptors, which then leads you to get into worse perversion. I mean, look at Ted Bundy. I mean, he actually was a pornography. He looked at pornography. And most serial killers start off by looking at pornography because when you when you pump that sex drive, your brain has less dopamine receptors, which means that there's more dopamine being pumped around your brain, but you have less dopamine receptors to receive it. So you just you just want more and more and more and more and more, and then you get into worse perversion to where you're just watching you know porn, then you might get into homosexual porn, you know sodomite porn, you might get into incest porn or bestiality porn, and then you might actually get it to the point where you're actually going out. And, and harming women and actually going after, like, harming, <coughs> sorry, and actually raping women in real life. So pornography is very, very bad for you. But this is a study on how pornography actually rewires your brain to basically a more juvenile state and how it erodes the part of the brain that is for basically adulthood. Says Rachel Ann Barr, a PhD student at Canada's University, Laval studies how porn impacts learning and memory. Barr says that there is evidence that porn erodes the, the prefront, prefrontal cortex, the brain region that fully de that only fully develops in adulthood. The prefront the pre yeah prefrontal cortex controls mortality, willpower, and impulse control. So what pornography does is that it erodes it so it doesn't develop as fast to where basically you're an adult. We have a juvenile brain essentially. So, yeah, just a word of advice, don't watch porn. Watching porn erodes an important region of the brain, rewiring it to a juvenile state, a researcher warns. Rachel Ann uh, Barr, a neuroscience PhD student and researcher at Canada's University, let's well, really my screen, University of Laval, uh, says studies show people who regularly watch adult entertainment often develop damage to the prefrontal cortex, the brain region that controls mortality, willpower, and impulse control. The brain, this brain, that brain region is crucially, is crucially and one that does not fully develop until adulthood. Kind of like I'm, a, I'm, an adult, I'm 18 right now. So, um, at, so according to this researcher, my prefrontal cortex would have fully developed by now. So if I was watching pornography, I'd be an adult right now because I am 18. However, I'd have a more juvenile brain. Uh, Bar uh, warns research suggests that porn uh, can create users to struggle with their emotions, and, uh, impulses, and possibly leading to compulsive behavior and poor decisions. Exactly, and again, it can lead to serial killing because your dopamine receptors, your brain has will, will create less dopamine receptors. So there's all this dopamine in your brain, but your brain has less receptors, so it leads you to get into worse perversion because you just want more and more and more and more and more, and it just like no, it's never enough for you. That's why it's bad. And I apologize for my sniffing, sniffling, because I am sick right now. So yeah, I do apologize. Um, you know, they got some stuff right there. Uh, kinks, fe uh, fetishes, and pornographic imagery have always existed, but with the internet, live-action porn has become available on demand. Uh, the, and the demand is in... Sorry, I have a headache right now as well. Uh, Insustainable. Uh, with 33.5 billion hits on Pornhub, the biggest free porn site in 2018, the thirst for increasingly vivid sex scenes within seconds is so strong that it, uh, in fact, uh, been a major driver behind technological advances. Wow. Disgusting. Uh, the porn industry, quote, the porn industry has blazed commercial path that uh, other industries are hastening to follow, says Frederick Lane, author of Obscene Profits, the uh, Entre Entrepreneurs of Pornography in, in the Cyber Age. It is unprecedented commercial success t uh, tapping into something universal and carnal. Yeah, it is carnal. Absolutely. When you look at naked images of people, that's very carnal. Uh, but Barr warns, science is, not, is just only just beginning to reveal the neurological repercussions of porn consumption. It is already very clear that the mental health and sex lives of its widespread audience are suffering catastrophic events, Barr said. From, the, from depression to uh, eradicate dysfunction, porn appears to be hijacking our neural wiring and, uh, dire, con and what, yeah, with dire consequences. Actually, let's throw more of the article down here. Um, 
Barr, who researches learning and memory, says her team observed porn's powerful impact on neuro, neuro, neural wiring, sorry, uh, which affect human behavior. The properties of video porn make it a particularly powerful trigger for plastically, or plastically, the brain, the brain's ability to change and adapt as a result of experience. Barr said, combined with the accessibility of anonymity of online porn consumption, we are more vulnerable than ever to its hyper-stimulating effects. Exactly, because you have those, you have dopamine that's being pumped in your brain, so you just want more and more and more, and your brain's creating less dopamine receptors. And again, this is why pornography creates serial killers, because you just never get enough. You want more and more. You can just, it's just never enough for you, to the point where you're actually going out and, and harming women and actually going out and doing it yourself, because you just have that, you're pumping that sex drive. Uh, martial, uh, martial equality and commitment to one's romantic partner appear to be com uh, compromised, but how? Barr says it is likened to drug taking. When a person uses cocaine, their brains give off a rush of dopamine, if the, a feel-good hormone. Yeah, same thing. Like for example, when you have a social media page, when you get when you get like a lot of likes and retweets and stuff like that, and reposts, it, it basically feeds your it, it feeds your dopamine. Like your brain will pump dopamine because you feel good. That's why you can just never get enough. You want more and more and more. Uh, the same happens with sex, uh, sex and arousal, uh, but beyond is simply dealing with excitement and the same neurotransmitter that controls memories. Overhauling this, that neurotransmitter can wear down your natural reflexes, habits, and leaving the body to unsure uh, how to satisfy its needs. Which again, this is how it leads to actual like serial rapists because you just you could just never satisfy. Like you, you're not sure how to satisfy it, so you actually go out and rape women. Most serial rapists start off by watching pornography. It's a proven fact. Like Ted Bundy, he was a cannibal. I, I believe he was a cannibal. He literally watched pornography. He was a pornography watcher. Drug users, for example, can lose appetite, turning turning to more drugs. Porn users, Barr said, may start to see porn as a quick fix to their sexual needs rather than a person. Yeah, but then then they actually go out and do it to other people. Uh, and then you go, they go down there. You get the picture. Pornography it really harms your brain. I mean, there's just so much proof out there that pornography is just really bad for you. Which is why pornography should be illegal, which it, it was illegal in Canada and America for a long time. But, you know, of course, the liberals, you know, want to get that. You know, obviously, liberals have no morality, so they just, oh, you know, pornography, you know, it's ridiculous. Pornography should be against the law. Not not just for, like, like moral, moral reasons, but just for your health, too. Pornography is terrible for your mental and neurological health. So, anyway, thank you for watching this video. Don't do porn. It, it, it will never satisfy you. God bless you. Goodbye.